Hi everybody, my name is Julia Coward and I work at First United Methodist Church here in Taylor as an MDO staff member and I also work with the children's ministry. I have a devotion today for you. This is the devotion from Friday, May 22nd, 2020 and it is bold encouragement for young athletes, it says. The swimming competition we were attending was crowded with preteens, including our two grandsons. Slade, the older of the two, had completed competition in his age group and was now at the side of the pool rooting for his younger brother, Grant. Even over the noise of the crowd, we heard Slade calling, Come on, Grant, keep going, you can make it. As I watched him, I thought, he doesn't care at all about what the crowd thinks of him and his jumping up and down and yelling. He's more concerned that his brother finished the race. When I later thought about the unashamed way my grandson encouraged his brother, I asked myself, am I as zealous as Slade in my encouragement for my brothers and sisters in Christ? I'm ashamed that the answer is no. Unlike my young grandson, I am often inhibited by my fear of what others will think. Slade inspired me to ask God for forgiveness and also for boldness to encourage others. Please join me in prayer at home. Dear Lord Jesus, help us to reflect your nature and our actions toward others each day. We pray as you taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This devotional was submitted by George Childry from Alabama. The Bible verse for this devotional is, Encourage one another and build each other up. From 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. The thought for the day is, To whom will I speak an encouraging word in Christ's name today? So in this story, a grandfather is talking about how his grandson is openly and loudly supporting his brother at a sporting event. He wants him to win, so he's standing out against the crowd of everyone else who is most likely sitting and just watching the game and enjoying and being in the moment. But his grandson is jumping for joy and saying, you can do it, I believe in you, and showing this utmost support for a fellow brother. And the grandfather thinks to himself, Am I doing that with other people in talking about Christ in church? And he wasn't. And I came to realize as I read this that I do not do that either. I myself have an issue with worrying about what others think. And to that, I always have to remind myself, who cares? They are only worried about themselves, just like you are. Everyone else that you think is judging you is in their head thinking the same thing. They're like, Ooh, did they look at me weird? Did I say something wrong? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, I tripped over that rock. I'm gonna be thinking about that for 18 years. It's not really like that. Everyone else is too in their head to worry about what you are doing. So something I learned from that particular devotional was to just let it go and not worry about what others think of you. If I want to jump up and down and act like a fool just to make somebody laugh or just because I want to, or if I want to stand out in a crowd by wearing something different or saying something that's not popular to think or say, I would say just embrace it and don't worry about what others think of you. And in regards to being enthusiastic in supporting other things but not so much Jesus, I also can relate to that because I will talk about Beyonce till the cows come home but not once am I trying to talk to my close friends or even my other family members about accepting Jesus. And I think that is actually a shame. We all should be embracing Jesus and knowing that our home is the church and we should be telling others, if we know the good news, then why are we not spreading it? And I think a lot of us are pretty guilty of that, myself included. I honestly think we could all do a better job of lifting each other up and supporting each other in more ways than just what we are used to. It might make people a little uncomfortable if you bring up Jesus or you bring up the church. And that's how you really know who is open to ideas. I understand being inhibited by what others will think or worrying about how someone will react. But when it comes to telling people about Jesus, you cannot be expecting them to fire back at you or to not 
be interested in what you have to say. You have to stay strong and keep going with the message, and they will eventually get it and hopefully accept Christ. And this devotion is called Bold Encouragement for a reason. It's to give you all and myself, those who ever read it, give them encouragement to speak about other things and to not be so worried about what others are saying about them or could be thinking and not saying. I hope you guys got something out of this devotional. Y'all have a great night. See you next time.